Good morning everyone. Well, this is the lesson number two. And this is to this is this is our lesson about on uh, joints, which are also called uh, referred to as kinematic pairs. First of all, I'd like to start off with the fact that we have two categories. The kinematic pairs are classified into lower pair. <coughs> classified into lower pair and higher pair <clears throat> basically what what is a joint uh, a joint is a connection between two or more links so basically a joint the the joint allows movement to occur between the links that's what it is it is responsible for movement so a joint without a joint there would be basically no movement at all so <clears throat> now let's talk about the pairs let's talk about the two categories let's start off with lower pair so the lower pair basically indicates uh, or describes the joints with surface contact and a very simple example of that would be a pin surrounded by a hole so that would be surface contact and now the higher pair we have basically a higher pair describes uh, a joint uh, with point or line contact let's talk about now the examples we have so <clears throat> the first example here we have is a a pin in a slot, pin in slot, a pin in slot is basically a higher pair joint. Now let's talk about the lower pair. Lower pair, we have here a full joint, basically describes uh, one degree of freedom. One degree of freedom, <clears throat> that's what a full joint is allows uh, one movement basically <clears throat> and there are types and examples of a full joint lower pair full joint basically a pin joint that's what allows rotation movement and a slider in a slot which allows horizontal or vertical movement basically <clears throat> basically along the x-axis or y-axis that's that's one movement one coordinate movement now let's talk about the higher pair the higher pair basically talks about we have here a full joint and a half joint a full joint basically describes a one degree of freedom half joint describes two degrees of freedom so <clears throat> it's very important to understand that higher pair can be basically broken down into two categories which is a full joint and a half joint for a lower pair we only have four joints we do not have half joints <clears throat> now for a full joint we have here a disc on a plane without slipping <clears throat> that's basically that's basically an example of a full joint. The only time we have a full joint of a higher pair is when we have pure roll. We'll talk about that in a very in a very in a few seconds. Half joint, which we talked about, this clay describes the two degrees of freedom. Examples: pin in slot, link against a plane. <clears throat> That's basically a link against the plane. So basically you can have rotation and you can have movement as well as rotation at the same time. The next example here is disc on a plane with rolling and slipping. So rolling and slipping that is a roll slide example. Now I've got an example here that I'd like to show you. 
This is basically a link against a plane. If you lock out, if you lock out the motion <clears throat> of the link so that it only rotates about its fixed point as such, this is referred to as pure roll. Pure roll. That would be only rotation and not a not movement along the x-axis. Now let's talk about <clears throat> the other form, which is pure slide. If you lock out the rotation movement and you just allow movement along the x-axis, that would be called as pure slide. Pure slide. The third category is the roll slide, which involves the two movements, which is rotation and sliding along the x-axis that we talked about earlier. That would be a half joint. So this is an example of a half joint since it has two degrees of freedom. And we've talked about this earlier in the first chapter. Two degrees of freedom, that means it can move along the x-axis and as well rotate about its fixed point. I'm going to talk about an example here. <clears throat> so a pure roll, basically as we talked about, allows only rotation and is classified as a full joint. Pure rolling <clears throat> and no sliding at the joint. A great example of this would be car wheels rolling around the road. So your car wheels would be rolling and not sliding. <clears throat> as they roll, as they roll, obviously the friction allows the movement, but we're only concerned we're only concerned with the with the road with the rolling of the of the tire with the, of the tires. The next example is pure slide. Pure slide basically only involves move only involves movement along the x-axis that's why it's classified as a full joint an example of this would be when you lock out your brakes on the ice so when your brakes lock as such as the um, lock system when they lock when they lock so they start sliding and slipping on the ice and that's called and they stop rolling basically so that's called pure slide the roll slide is classified as a half joint the reason why that is is because as you accelerate on the ice you've got some slipping and you've got some rolling at the same time so that's classified as a half joint now what determines if it is a pure roll pure slide roll slide movement is basically the friction the friction is a primary factor that determines into which category the movement falls into and that concludes our first lesson thank you very much for attending see you next time